this YouTube studio background is fake. Wow. So if I have this kind of cool background, why then still use a fake background? Twenty-four is the year where you release and unleash your creativity. As a data professional or someone learning tech, one of the ways we've been showcasing our skill is by publishing our project on LinkedIn or Twitter. But doing videos, short videos like this is a very great way to also tell people what you're able to do. And you cannot tell which of them will go viral or will truly end up getting to your potential recruiter and get them convinced. So it is advised that you try multiple approach to showcase what you're able to do or what you've done create a blog, you know, tweet about it, make a post on LinkedIn, which are things that you usually do. But creating a video content is something that majority have not even tried out. There are so many reasons why beginners and tech enthusiasts are not even coming near creating video content. Well, you think it's because they're camera shy, not everyone. Some of them is because they don't have the resources. You know, the camera, the lighting, the background, and everything that makes for high quality content. So they rather shy away from it. This is why I'm creating this video to help you and guide you through it. It is not as hard as you think it is. I have been there before. As someone who has gone through different phases in content creation, from no background to using the green screen, you know, no lighting, just using the camera light of my phone, I have been through this phase. And I can tell you that it is now easier today with the tools around us. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the tips and how to even create a short video to showcase your own portfolio and what you're able to do and still deliver high quality content. Note, there are many videos out there that try to showcase how to use a maybe a virtual background in your YouTube video or content creation. My focus here is to help every tech and data enthusiast to learn how to do this thing and tell the story about their skill. So it is for you and you should also appreciate this by liking this video, by subscribing to my YouTube channel and also following me and sharing this video with all your friends and colleagues. In this video, I will stick to one single tool because I'm not trying to make you a content creator that start learning several tools and services. We will be using CapCut. Yes, CapCut. I will focus on the desktop version of CapCut, but you can also do these things with your mobile version. Everything from the background, editing of the video you are taking, everything will be done with CapCut desktop. It's also free, so you can click on the link under this video to download the desktop version. Yep, you might get some discounts. Why not go ahead? And click on the referral link as well okay so let's get started right now i'm going to assume that you've downloaded capcut desktop and let's put it up by starting capcut you can click on new project but let's first create our image which is the background you need to use you see a feature here called create image that is exactly what we need to create our image when i click on it, it's going to open up a browser for me and lead me to capcut website if you observe, what you can see here looks like Canva, but it's actually CapCut. Because of the dimension of the image we need, locate YouTube. And right there, you can see YouTube intro. Make sure you choose this one or this because it's all about the resolution. This is 1920, but this is 1280. This is just about thumbnail, but 1920 by 1080 is a better resolution. So click on YouTube intro. There you see this. Of course, um, it's just resolution, it's just a size that we've seen now, not yet the image. To create your image, you see this text to design is only for creating the entire design by writing text description. But let's go ahead to photos, which is what you need. When you click on photos, you will see image generator. This is the AI right here. When you click on try, it asks you to describe what you want to do. You know, you can use a lot of things here, but I'm just going to go straight forward. Let's say a realistic studio background for content creator. This is fine. Um, I just need to keep this as, as custom, select this. Um, for this, scale, just about scale, put in 10 there and click on generate. I think we have something really cool now. So I can download this. I have two that I think I can use. It's even two or three. All right. Let's have a look at this. Yep. This really look cool. Um, let's also try the other one. 
let's download more and also this guy which i think i might end up using all right and this so feel free to take your time write the prompt review the prompt to anyone you think you like best you know you will definitely get something out of this so take for example for this now this is cool i am interested in this particular one which is page seven now and i can export and i click on export i only need page seven so i'll select this and select page seven jpeg i prefer png of higher quality and it's saying oh is it just size the more you increase the size the higher the quality and the higher the file size so let's just make it times two that becomes even way 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 bigger and um, and sharper so let's go ahead and click on download the file has been downloaded on my system and it's time to go back to CapCut. I'm back to CapCut and I'll click on new project. I'm going to import all the files. I have them saved on my system, the video I've recorded as well as the image I downloaded. Okay, cool. The next is to drag the image to my timeline. Here's the image where I was recording myself, but the thing is I have to crop only the part that I was talking and introducing myself. I have multiple attempts doing this. So let's cut the part where I was actually introducing myself. I'm going to look out for it. All right. It took me some seconds to cut and join. And I think I have the final one, which is about 47 seconds. We might just make it up to maybe 50 seconds because there's something I want to add there. So let's listen to what I have here. Hi, I'm Olan Waju Oyuboke. One thing that actually describes me most of the time is my passion. I'm really passionate about anything that I believe in. And because I love data and analytics, you can see this passion expressed in the kind of project I do, in the way I learn, and in the way I support the community. Let's take a look at some of the projects that I've done. Amazing, isn't it? All right. You know, there are still many few things you might do, have some transitions. Uh, of course, the goal is to let you know how easy it is to actually do this thing. Right, so what I'm going to do right here is to drag in my image and I'm going to bring down my image. This is my image. Everything looks like, oh, yep, I'm going to drag it to the full length of the video. And the image is not really there, but I can highlight by just dragging and holding my arrow key and swiping to the left so that all my videos that I've caught on the timeline, they are selected. And I can just drag them and put them on top of this image. It's time to remove the background. So I'm going to click on the first video and locate cutout. You can see this menu here, video, busy. You can see cutout. I'm going to click on cutout. And under cutout, when I scroll down, you will see auto cutout. The auto cutout is not a premium feature. So either you paid for it or not, uh, you can still use it. But what it will do, it will cut only the image in the scene. So make sure your background is really plain and you don't have too much of object in your scene. So when I click on auto cut out, it will run now and remove the background. I just leave only myself and I'll be resting on the background, which is the image I have downloaded. Voila, it is done. So if I click on this. Hi, one, I'm Olan Waju Oyuboke. One thing that actually describes me most of the time is my passion. The other thing you might want to do is to touch up so that your video lighting is bright because right now this is not bright. I intentionally leave it this, you know, this dark so that i can actually show you how to improve the lighting as well it's good to use the good lighting let there be enough light wherever you are but if it is not you can still use this so i'm going to click on adjustment and right here i can do some changes make some changes here under this adjustment in brightness in contrast you can do those things there for example in brightness as i'm adjusting this the video lighting is really changing I can put this as 15 because I need the bright. I need to brighten up um, the contrast. I can also make it five so that it. This is not cast in stone, so I have to tweak it to understand which one actually gives me you the best. You might want to also make it a bit sharp one, so five is okay for me just to preserve that. Another thing you should do is click on this skin tone protection so that way even when you are adding all these adjustments that your skin tone is still being protected um this might also help you increase the number of reds in case you want to increase the red saturation um hue move towards purple you can see this purple you can see this the way i'm moving now the way it's changing uh we'll move towards purple i think i like it be brighter like this and temperature just 
help you like this or keep it bluish or yellowish so i like the temperature at this level you see i have actually made a lot of few changes and i can say apply to all that means it will apply this temperature and this feature to all the videos because i've got some of them here when i click on apply to all it's not just even to my video the background was also affected you see that right so let's play this now Hi, I'm Olan Waju Oyinboke. One thing that I actually describe me most of the time is my passion. I'm really passionate about anything that I believe in. And right. Let's quickly remove the background for others. And after that, we will view the full video. So coming back here, the same thing here. Click on this. Stay on that video. Basic. Just scroll down to on that video. You come to cut out. Then under cutout, you see auto cutout. Took some seconds, but I'm done now. I've been able to apply this to all my content. Now, I mentioned here as on, as on project. So here, I'm just going to do something here by basically cutting this. At this point, I'm going to enlarge because I wanted you to talk about your project or showcase project your project. That I've done. So it's a project that I've done. Where the project, I can cut this by splitting. And remove this magnet so that I can have a space. And um, just right here, I like them and I'm go, going to drag. And since I drag, I can then, where does the video there? Okay, this is where the video ends. So I can make sure that the background aligns perfectly with the video. So, okay, so even when the video is up, all right. Here I can add the text, default, and I just want to add this text and say, please your project talk about your project here talk about your project here yeah so this is the part i want you to talk about your project all right then i can bring back all these guys i'm just using that to create that space I don't know how this works for you on mobile, but this is how I create space on the desktop. Then I can move this back. So let's put this on full screen mode. It's barely 50 seconds and see. Hi, I'm Olan Waju Oyinboke. One thing that actually describes me most of the time is my passion. I'm really passionate about anything that I believe in. And because I love data and analytics, you can see this passion expressed in the kind of project I do, in the way I learn, and in the way I support the community. Let's take a look at some of the projects that I've done. Speaking of community, I believe in collaborating, I believe in co-learning, co-sharing, and growing together. Awesome. This is really cool. Now I have been able to edit it. There are a few other things you might want to do. For example, the sand. You can click on this and go to the audio and you see noise reduction. It takes out the noise. You can keep that background noise. You do that for all of your clips so that noise are being removed. And of course, there's a need for me to adjust this because um, you can do all those little adjustments. And I see the length of this is, is a lot. I can just leave it like this and bring this back. Yeah. Okay, let me just see this side. Good. Speaking of community. All right. So, as you can see, you have a very great <laughs> intro of yourself. So, what is stopping you from introducing yourself? A few other things you might want to do is to have a background sound. Just be careful because you are not, since you are not monetizing this, it's not bad. So, uh, if you are monetizing, you should use, you know, sound that has copyright free. But on CapCut, most of their content you know their sound they're actually copyrighted so there are only few platforms you can use them like tiktok is free but when you move it to youtube you won't be able to monetize and the goal is not for you to monetize this so you can go ahead and search for sound that you need and add the sound right there okay as you can see content creation is not that difficult although it takes time and practice take for example you might have to rehearse this over and over again before you can have the perfect shot but of course you are able to do it and yes you can do it this kind of content put it out there on your twitter pin it there and put it link to your repository there or any project put all of them there you know on your linkedin add it there feature it on your profile go ahead and create your own content don't waste time because now that you are inspired go ahead and do it there's no bad content you are promoting yourself 
as you continue to do it over and over, you become better at this. I wish you a very thriving career this year.